Hey, welcome back. Um, I had today off for Veterans Day. That was nice. It's Thursday. Um, I never had Veterans Day off before. I used to think like, kill this guy. Um, when I had days where, because sometimes I used to record at my old apartment when I didn't go out anywhere, like to my job or anything, I'd say, like, oh, those days are kind of worse because I'm, I wasn't as social, so I didn't talk as much. Oh, that's a death. I don't like that. What am I doing? Restart it. No, 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 don't waste the fairy. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Whatever, that's dumb. Uh, today I was going to talk about Life is Strange 3 because Vault commented and he was like, uh, why don't you talk about the games you're playing? And I'm like, I should probably do that because this is a gaming... Oh, just leave, right? Or, I don't know. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. I should be using... this. Um, so... I'm gonna talk about it. Life is Strange 3. It's called True Colors. Um, it's not called Life is Strange 3. But it's Life is Strange 3. <laughs> um, he wanted my like initial reactions of the games. Um, my initial reaction was that I thought I was really going to like it. But I just finished the whole thing and it's fine. I kind of wanted to talk more about maybe the... Those kind of like choose your dialogue point and clicky type games. How do I do this now? I'm just going to use the fairy. Um, I don't know if you're super familiar. There's not really too many of them anymore. Telltale used to do that. There's a There was a company called Telltale. Oh, I know what to do. They made the Walking Dead game, and they made uh, whatever the wolf, wolf among us. How do I do this? Wasn't expecting to get stuck here. Huh. Do I have to freeze somebody or something? They gotta give you something. No? I might have to look it up. Why doesn't the skull... Yeah, alright, if I remember I'm gonna cut this out. Because I don't like... Yeah, okay. Sorry. I guess I'm back. <laughs> uh, this is hard. This is like really hard. Um, I know what to do, so I'm just going to kind of wander around. I just don't know how to do it. Um, otherwise, I'll never finish. <laughs> I'll just be like playing by myself for 30 minutes like I was just doing. Okay, so here's what I have to do. That bottom left block, i got to push it in to the hole. I push this block into the hole, but it's not good enough. So... What I have to do is I have no idea, <laughs> so um, I'm not going to get frustrated. I'm just going to do whatever. I don't care. Um, this isn't even the right place. Uh, whatever. Okay. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Life is Strange 3. <laughs> um... I guess I did kind of want to talk, I, sp I guess spend the whole day kind of like talking about those uh, Telltale. So if you don't know the game, which you probably do, these, they're like 10 years ago. There was this company called Telltale and I started making a lot of games that were... They were like, kind of like a choose your own adventure like book where you play as a character, and then stuff happens to the character, and then you get to pick what the character says, and then it's like, oh, whatever you say is going to affect your choices, or what what happens at the end, and stuff like that. Um, I mean, it's not a new... It, it kind of was new. I mean, like, Mass Effect does that kind of thing, and RPGs do that kind of thing all the time, but this was just specifically story-based, and you play as a character, 
and there's no like action or any. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I, I'm not gonna get frustrated. <laughs> um, I, and I really liked those games, especially like ten, five years ago when I was in high school or when I was in um, college. The first two Walking Dead's were my favorite. Um, I think I think the reason why they appealed to me is because, um, as someone who's just like never talked and was always frustrated with their interactions with people, the games simplified interactions and they made like you get a chance to think and you have three choices. So it's like simple when you do a real interaction with a person. It's like a billion things you could say and like, oh, what if they get mad and what. If, but it's always very satisfying in those games to, to pick something to say, and then your character says it, and you're like, oh, okay, he said what I wanted him to say. <laughs> well, in real life, it's just it never works like that. Um, and I still like the games. I wish there were more of them. I wish I wish there was I wish there was like I wish this genre was as popular as like a first-person shooter genre because they get all the games. And then there's only like two of these games that come out every year. Um, I heard the new Guardians of the Galaxy game was good, which is surprising to me. <laughs> but I think I'll play that. I think it's kind of similar. Like it's there is some action. It's but it there is also like some ch choice based stuff. That's cool. I'll play that game too, and I'll talk about it. I promise. Okay, so this is what you have to do. You have to, but there has to be a thing up here somewhere, a switch. I gotta find the switch, and then you go down into that room, and then you fall down. Um, I'll just kill me. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the first life is strange. It's kind of a weird game, but I remember liking it a lot. Um, I remember being kind of embarrassed about it because it's about like this high school girl and um, and it's not really super well written but it is good the the best thing about the first game is this the setting of the town and then also the, the friendship between the two main characters <laughs> um, Uh, the second game I didn't like. I played it on here so you can see all my thoughts if you want to see me talk about that game. I didn't really like it. I felt like it was a mistake for them to... The second game is all about, like, kind of... One of the main characters, their dad dies, so then they have to go on the run because they think the police is gonna think that they killed their dad. So it wasn't like the first game where... You were in one town, and you got the you got to meet everybody. In like, in the first chapter, decisions you made affected the fifth chapter because it's the same characters the whole time. But in the second game, you're always moving around, so you never meet the same people, and you're never in the same place. So your decisions with them, they don't feel like they're gonna matter. Um, so that seemed like a mistake. And so in this game, they kind of went back to the first game, where you just spend the whole the whole game in a single town, which is good, but I don't know. I didn't like it as much. I didn't feel as connected with the characters. I didn't feel like there was. It's kind of a fun little mystery. There's there's a, there's a death in the town, and then there's like a mystery, like oh, what happened? And you have to figure it out, but it's not really. I don't know. I, I didn't really think through my thoughts here, so sorry if they're rambly or boring. Um, my initial thoughts of the game, like Vault said, I, I thought I was going to really like it because it reminded me of the first one. The more I played it, the more I, I didn't think they were doing anything. So I got to talk about the, the main mechanic of the game is... Um, okay, that's important. In the first game... There was this really interesting mechanic where you could rewind time and change your choices. 
um, which was kind of a cool take on the Telltale thing because at that point Telltale had already done like a billion games and so Life is Strange is like, oh, we're not going to be boring, we're going to add this mechanic of rewinding time so you could change things and you could talk to somebody and know how they feel about something and then you could rewind and then have different dialogue options which was really cool but they abandoned that mechanic in all the other games um, which now is actually kind of fine because they're the only team that's making these kind of games so they don't need to be different <laughs> but It, it replaces it with this mechanic of the main character. You can see other people's emotions and you can kind of read their minds. Which is a cool place for this kind of a game to go, but it never really does anything super interesting with it to me. Um, I can't think of anything interesting. Like, I'll spoil one little part of it. One of the characters is really sad about something or they're really angry and so you have to make a decision you learn at, at a certain point that you can take people's emotions from them so you're like should i take her anger away because she might kill herself i don't know what's going to happen um so i decided to take her anger away but then i take like i just, there's like a thing where like oh you take her anger away but now she's like super apathetic about life so you're like oh that's interesting but it's i don't know see this is why i don't really talk about games because i i'm not very good at it i i'm just wandering around here so let's just sit for a second and talk about i talked about how i liked those kind of choose your own dialogue games um I remember it being, now that I have this venue to talk, it's not as satisfying to me because like, oh, I can actually kind of talk a little bit. But, but before, like when I was playing the Walking Dead games, when I was in college, I never talked to anybody. So it was so satisfying to be able to click a button and for for Lee to, to, to say something interesting and for people to react to it. Like, even if they got angry, I'd be like, no, but like, I really believe that this is the right thing to say. It's so much easier when, I don't know, you, you have three buttons and it's like, usually one of the answers is pretty interesting. I'm like, okay, yeah, this is the right thing to say at this point. I kind of wish in real life, when you talk to somebody, you get three options and you just have to click one and then you, you say it. Um, but it's always like, I can never think of anything to say but yeah the first Walking Dead game is definitely um, like the pinnacle for me of that kind of a game it's kind of a bummer because that was the first one to come out and they haven't really done anything better than that and Life is Strange the first one was good with that new mechanic the rewind mechanic was it, they did a lot of interesting things like That game was, a gameplay design-wise, was really well made, I feel like. The way they, yeah, I don't know. I could spend a whole day talking about the first one. Um, so I guess that's it. Sorry for the bad day. I have to do this because I have a doctor's appointment in two hours, so I gotta finish this. <laughs> um, But yeah, thanks, Vault. Sorry, it was bad. I'm going to play Resident Evil 8, so hopefully... If you want me to talk more about Life is Strange, you want me to try, I could try. But if you if you were like, well, you're not doing a very good job, so just don't do it. <laughs> I'll give you my first impression of Resident Evil 8. It's supposed to come, like, tomorrow. And I'm going to play it. And I'm excited, because I, like I like 7, so 8's coming. I'm going to play that. It's going to be fun. Resident Evil. <laughs>
Okei, okay, siinä mä oon.